My name is Katano. Now I am free. I am a free Jafar. If you have come to this place, then you wish to know freedom as I do. If you've come to hear me, then you know in your heart and in your mind that classical guitar should be easier. <laughs> I do not say that this will be easy. There will be sacrifice. If you seek freedom. If you seek sanctuary. Let no instructor challenge us. The time has come for guitarists to claim the rightful place among the stars. As guitarists who live and the guitarists who die free. What say you too? Is he not the means to our deliverance? Hey, how's it going? This is Chad Morris and I'm back with another video. Regular videos. Let's go. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a few classical guitar hacks that I recently came up with. And they're going to make playing the repertoire a hell of a lot easier. And when I say recently, I'm talking I recently came up with these, like weeks ago. Again, this is the season of Bach, so we're going to be running these hacks through the gauntlet using Bach tunes. Bach tune. Uh, for the medium difficulty piece, we're going to be using the Suite for Cello, number 2 in D minor. And for the harder difficulty piece, we're going to be using my favorite Bach composition of all time, the gorgeous, the beautiful violin sonata number 3 in C major. Now, I don't even know if this is a thing or not, but I'm going to be showing you ways to get around uh, some of this repertoire without spending 15 years learning classical fingerstyle. Who wants to do that? And, and, you, and you don't need a footstool either. All you need is a pick, and two fingers, and a lap. So anyway, you know the drill. Please uh, like and subscribe and all that. So, you know, people... Why do people act like they're doing you a favor? Like and subscribe, We're, I'm doing you a favor by didn't reminding you. <laughs> okay, let me open by saying the truth. Classical guitar used to always intimidate the out of me. Don't okay. be afraid. I mean, it really did intimidate me. That's why I put it off for so goddamn long. I mean, with all the the the, the posture and the and the nails, the nails. The quality of the nails of the player, the one who had not received from nature, the nail corresponding to a strong metal sound, has to better to give up playing the guitar. Mm. And, and the footstool, the footstool, like, God, I need all that just to play some music. Damn. And then on top of that, the culture, like, look, I'm not trying to make a mockery of the music. I'm just saying, I mean, the culture, I mean. Voila, Paris, 1882, designed by Jean-Francois Blanc, while attending L'Ecole des Beaux-Arts. Mon Dieu. <laughs> oh, hi, Dad. Did you see my new chess set? Oh, yeah, it's nice. It's nice? But the inlay was made from the same travertine marble they used at Hadrian's Palace outside Tivoli. Really? Well, I'm going to celebrate with a beverage brewed from the crystal clear waters of the majestic Colorado Rockies. <laughs> so I knew in order to, to tackle this thing, I had to come at it my way. Um, because I couldn't spend 15, 20 years learning classical fingerstyle. That's just not... I don't even have enough time to do that. So I came up with two ways to help... Uh, get through uh, a lot of the classical repertoire. Um, the first thing is a hybrid picking style. I'll go into detail with that. 
And the second thing is a hybrid playing posture. And I'll go deep into that as well. So coming from rock and blues and jazz, uh, I use a pick. So why stop using a pick? So with this hybrid picking style, uh, you still play with a pick, but you also add up to three additional fingers. You really only need one. So the good thing about that is that you don't have to keep nails on all your fingers. I only keep nails on two fingers. And on top of that, the length of nail that you need to make this work is very small. Bro, you don't need all that. <laughs> Bro, you don't need lead press-ons to play classical music. <clears throat> Lastly, uh, I think the most important thing I've learned about classical music is that every single note in the piece has to be treated with the utmost respect. Every note must be played and heard clearly by default. It's like if you were a cook at a Michelin star restaurant and uh, you, you were plating your asparagus, you got seven pieces of asparagus, right? All seven pieces have to be absolutely pristine. You can't have one withery one like you can in jazz or rock or blues. Do you know what I'm saying? This is important. And these two hacks are gonna ensure that you have perfectly cooked asparagus. So another issue I found while trying to learn classical fingerstyle, and something I even hear from professionals, is that it's very difficult to produce a confident tone. The difference in tone that you get from resting your hand on the guitar as opposed to not resting your hand on the guitar is negligible. I mean, only the greatest audio engineers can hear this difference. And for beginners and intermediates, this shouldn't be an issue at all. In this hybrid technique, you support your picking hand with your pinky. This provides a strong anchor point on the guitar for which you can evenly apply dynamics. By anchoring your hand, you're ensured you can play loudly, you can play softly. It's kind of like a pool player's bridge. A pool player is not going to have any confidence if he can't anchor his hand to the table. So having this strong anchor point and an assurance of a confident tone, man, that is a worthwhile trade-off for a slight, almost negligible dampening of the tone. So the picking part of the system is, is very simple. Use your pick and your middle finger and you alternate between the two. And this can cover most of the repertoire. And if you need more voices for chords or what have you, you can bring in the ring and the pinky fingers, no problem. It's really as simple as that. Just, just try it. The weapon is balanced, but the warrior is not. <clears throat> when one overcommits, one becomes vulnerable to carpal tunnel. When one achieves balance in combat, one will survive to achieve balance in life. This next hack is a playing posture hack. I don't know if this is done, I haven't seen it before, but it is just as important as your picking system. In the traditional posture for playing classical guitar, you put the guitar between your legs and you lean slightly over. This creates an imbalance. The imbalance is remedied by the use of a footstool. You can't play in this posture without a footstool. Instead of putting the guitar between your legs and, and using a footstool to equalize uh, the balance, 
this is what you can do. If you have a long sleeve shirt on, roll up your sleeve, exposing the skin on your forearm. That's the only downside to this thing. You have to use your skin, your bare arm. Prop the guitar up onto your right lap, left lap if you're left-handed. Your forearm needs to be in a spot where you do not have to press down at all on the guitar. You should just be able to hold it there in that position with the force of gravity coming down on your forearm. It's very similar to how violinists prop their violin against their shoulder. Their left hand should have nothing to do with the instrument staying balanced. Now start fretting the instrument from here. Your playing and your fingering should be clean and clear. Also, another thing you can do to make sure you have the proper, perfect 50-50 balance is to rest your chin on the guitar. If your guitar slides, you need to make an adjustment. You should be able to rest your chin, guitar is perfect, it doesn't slide, everything feels anchored, and you're not pressing down or anything. Another great thing about this playing posture is that you have access to the entirety of the fretboard, unimpeded. <laughs> One last point I want to make is about harmonics. So there are four harmonic zones that you really need to know about below the neck. One is directly below the neck. One is in the middle of the sound hole. One is at the last quarter of the sound hole. And the other is halfway between the sound hole and the bridge. These are pretty much the only places you want to apply your pick attack. Because as guitarists, we like to change our tone and timbre. I recommend keeping these spots in mind when you want to do that. In conclusion, these two hacks should free you up. Look, it's 2024. There's other ways to do things. You don't want to spend 20 years learning a traditional method, especially when you got a couple of years using a pick. Now, I'm not saying this is a superior method. I'm just saying this is a way to get around most of the repertoire. There are still compositions which require the standard traditional classical fingerstyle method. So I am in no way saying this replaces that. But what I am saying is that it will help you get around most of the repertoire, and especially Bach. The guitar guy is not responsible for any injury incurred using the techniques presented in this video. Thank you. This has been Chad Morris, and thanks for watching.